Hey everyone, welcome to Birds of a Feather. If you enjoy upcycling ideas, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we're participating in an International Bloggers Challenge and as you might be able to guess, the challenge this month is cardboard. And I was just about to toss this, put it into our recycle bin when I noticed just how pretty it is. So let's just see what we can do with it. I don't have a lot of time this month to craft, but I just can't resist trying something quick and easy. I'm just gonna pull this apart. Try to be careful. There, now I've got a nice flat piece. And what I'm gonna do is punch out circles. I've got this hole punch. Now, this is pretty industrial. I used to use this in my fashion design days but um, there are plenty of hole punchers that you can use. I'll see if I can find a link on Amazon and put something down in the description. So let's just punch out some circles. And there you go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch them out and meet me right back here and let's see if we can figure out something quick and easy to do with these cardboard circles. I've been wanting to do something with this thrift store lamp for ages and I think I'm going to be using the cardboard to embellish it. So I just want to point out that what I've done here is in some instances you can see the bends in the cardboard here. So I punched right through that bend and what I'm going to do is secure it like so. Hope you can see that. I'm gonna take these right along so that they sort of overlap the edge. I think that might be fun. And then what I'll end up doing is overlapping the circles. Now, if you don't wanna make this permanent, you can always use some double-sided tape to stick your pieces on. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because I'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out and I want the option of being able to um, switch things up and maneuver. So I'm gonna finish cutting out all my circles and we'll be back to start on this. Before you punch around the center part where the plastic is, be sure to peel it back because the tape sticks better, much better to the cardboard than it does to the plastic. So just take that extra step to do that and then you can continue punching. When you're placing the bottom edge, be sure that they're tight edge to edge here and that's so you'll get a nice symmetrical placement when you go to put your second row. When you're doing your initial row of cardboard circles, it's great to have one of these glue tape types here because you can simply just run it along and then tape it to your edge. Now once you're happy with the placement, you can come along and if you like, you can make it permanent with some glue. But I'm just gonna continue on like this, just to see how the layout's gonna go. And that way, I mean, if you accidentally put two side by side, you just take it off and put another in its place. You don't wanna have too many likes beside each other. Again, make sure that your sides are touching before you press down. Just a few more to go. After doing a row, I've come to the conclusion that you really have to center it in the middle of the row before and just ignore any gaps. You can't really get them tight because the circumference will increase as the curvature expands up and over. So all I'm doing is just centering it 
and ignoring the side. So here's how it's looking so far. The first row is now complete and it's looking a lot better even though I've got gaps. What I'll do is I'll have the bottom touching where the line comes across there, edge to edge, center again, and then move on to the next. Just like so. And that should give you a scalloped effect. At this point I'm just about out of cardboard thanks to my trusty rabbit here. And I've done about eight rows. So um, even though I probably have another box, I think I'm gonna stop because I want to avoid covering these holes here. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of the orange. So I'm gonna get this staged and show you how it looks with the bulb in it and all lit up. Thanks for watching. Join us again soon for another flip on the fly. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications of our upcoming projects.